Zach Cummings taking on Alexander Yakovlev. Zach Cummings, a minus 170 favorite comeback on Alexander. Thunder of the North, Yakovlev, plus 150. I really like Zach Cummings. Yeah. I, I hate to overtake a lot of favorites, but Zach Cummings, man. Zach Cummings nice. is just so well-rounded. He loses, he loses like to guys like you know Gunnar Nelson, like elite, elite talents. But we saw, and Zach Cummings, is, he's well-rounded. He can he can strike, hang out there. We saw in Yakovo's last fight, his loss to Kamaru Usman, that if you take this guy, if if you take this guy down, he's gonna try to throw off some triangles or whatever. He's pretty inactive on his back, though. Zach Cummings has got a great ground game. Yeah, Zach Cummings is not gonna be run, put himself into anything all of that dangerous. I almost kind of think that the, and this may sound a little bit harsh, but I think that. Knockout of George Sullivan. It was a beautiful punch or whatever, but like I don't think the the history of Alexander Yakovlev would suggest that that's not a normal thing that usually happens in his fights either. So I like Zach Cummings all the way around here. He kind of he usually pieces up guys at this level, loses to guys who are fringe top fifteen type of guys. It's tough not to like Zach Cummings. He's just he's just. He's just that guy that just kind of has all the tools. He's not yeah. elite in anything. No, you're right, though. But he's, he's earned his mark. good at everything, yeah. and I think this is a tough spot for Yakovlev. Usually I like taking a little stab on dogs, but Yakovlev is not one I'd be taking. I, I do like Zach Cummings here. I'm going to agree with you. That George Sullivan knockout, that's the one little thing that doesn't really make sense in yeah. his like, recent history. So let's just pull that out for the sake yep. of argument. This guy's a guy that makes his money going in and being the bigger guy that can physically dominate you. He gets side of the UFC beating Paul Daly, who he's bigger than Paul Daly. He can use that ground game, physically dominate him. Now he comes to the UFC, and Damian Maya who's much bigger than him, stronger than him, a better grappler, humbles him. So the guy tries to go down to 55, and he fights Gray Maynard, and he, he gets what he wants back. He's the much bigger guy, and he takes Gray until some later territory there, and then he's able to kind of establish his ground game. It was crazy bit. that Yakova made 155. Because he's, he's, he's six foot three. Yeah, he's yeah. massive. Now, as a result, he beats Gray Maynard, and it's just like, you know what? This guy could conceivably kind of maybe be a factor at 55, but it's like, no, he can't because he can't consistently make 55. So they put him back up to 170. He beats George Sullivan. If you look at that Usman fight, that Usman fight reminded me in many ways of the Damian Maya fight. Usman and Damian Maya, not the same guy, not even close. But it's the here if you're bigger and stronger than him and more physical than him, then his outline game plan, the things that he likes to go to, he can't go to that anymore. And when I look at Zach Cummings, Zach Cummings is gigantic for the division, first of all. The guy fought Tim Kennedy at 185 pounds in strike force. The guy fought Ryan Gimo at 205 pounds for MFC. He's a big guy. He's a brown belt in BJJ. He trains with a great gym with guys like James Krause, who was supposed to be on this card. So you know they've been working together and you know he's been just getting better every single day. And he's a guy that he's easy to write off because he's pretty ugly, he's pretty unathletic, and he's just he never does anything that sticks out in your mind. He seems very generic. He seems very generic. Yeah. To, to people on the outside looking in, to yeah. guys like you and me, yeah. you see something special here. Mm -hmm. Not special that he's going to challenge for a title, but special like... That he's a tough out on this, any night. This guy is the guy that I want on my show. If I'm the UFC, especially with the new management, if they're going to have to make roster cuts, and I think they're going to have to make roster cuts, a lot of these bottom line guys are going out. Zach Cummings, if he's going to be your bottom line guy, you're keeping this guy, man, because mm -hmm. he makes everybody work for it. And once again, I look at this fight with Kovlo, and I think, okay, Yukolov's striking serviceable, but not great. Zach Cummings, same thing, only he pressures forward and he actually throws a lot more technique now. Now you look in that ground game, okay, Yukolov should have the more refined wrestling ability. No, because this guy wrestled collegiately and has good wrestling credentials. As I mentioned, brown belt on the ground, but he could very well be a low-level black belt. And I think at the end of the day, get this guy against the, the fence, just like Usman did. Try to peel him to the ground if you can, just like Usman did. And if you do get some dominant positions, you're, he's just going to ride him. I think he did the exact same thing against Dolby. You know what? People say this guy's ground game's good, but it ain't on my level. Yeah. Yukovlev's going to be similar. Yukovlev's Russian, but he's not that same mold of Russian Sambo champions. He's not. Yeah, well, he's a different, hand -to -hand different part of champion. the country altogether. He's from, like, the All Moscow together. or St. Petersburg area, yeah. and those other guys are from the south of Russia where wrestling is, like, part of life. Dagestan, Chechnya, yeah. the northern Caucasus. That's where you're going to end up getting the greatest wrestling. He's from that part where, you know, is the nice part. I think there's beaches. Where do they just have a... Uh... <laughs> I think there's beaches. Where, 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 where do they have the Olympics in Russia? Uh... Sochi. There's beaches in Sochi. Did you even know that? Crazy. That's where uh, Magomed Mustafa is from. Though. Yeah. That... Are Crazy. you worried about that? It's like the Miami of Russia, apparently. Russia, Russia is such a big country. It's weird that oh, they had the, the Winter Olympics in Sochi because... 
They had to it's add like, snow, didn't oh, they? Oh, they had to bring in so much snow. Mm. They were constantly making snow. Because there's beaches, Because it's like man. 9 degrees Celsius man. there during their winter. Yeah, Tim Hag fought there, and he was sending pictures back, and I was like... It was all cr- it was all cash they... grab at the end of the day, though. That's all Sochi was. Yeah, because they were like, oh, give us a little bit of funding money, stuff that went down. and we'll, we're going to build roads yeah. and stadiums. And then afterwards, they were like, yeah, we really need those roads and the stadiums. Suckers. You give us back all of that funny money. That'd be great.